Hey guys, box two of my box deals week was Brilliant Strike. This is just before Legion era when Quinta also got announced. So let's go in. So with this, you got promos, which were the lock campaign and you got three. So we got the Narukami one, the Kagera one and the Murakuma one. That's cool. Since if you've watched a few videos back, you'll know my boyfriend plays Murakuma now. So that goes really well with his collection. So this is the left side of the box we're going to start with. If I can get the packs open. I keep forgetting inserts are in these. So Kagero, Royal Paladins. What else was in here? I can't remember. Genesis was in here. Golds are in here. There was a lot of clans in this. Neonecto was another one of them. Murakumo and Kagero. I really can't remember what was in this set. I think that's everything. I'm looking for... I actually am looking for stuff like this. It wasn't just a cheap buy. I wanted the... What did I want? I wanted the Genesis out of this. Possibly, maybe Neonecto, but I don't know if I can go back to making them. Other than I would want the Auroburus. Auroburus? Ride chain, because that looks really cool to play now. This thing had so many reprints. I'm surprised she's not been reprinted again. But Regalia gets support in the up and coming revival set as well, which is going to be really cool. And our first double rat is Miranda for Jewel Knights. So she was Ashley support, which is really cool. Ashley was a fantastic Jewel Knight deck, and I think still is, even though Jewel Knights are getting less and less support these days. Musketeers. I think Musketeers are seeing less play at the moment, so maybe if they got a revival, that would be really cool in the new set. Oh, and we get the Neonex Break Road. So we might be chock full of the Warriors from this side. These are near impossible to find now because of the Maiden objects coming out. So whenever I try and go on Carbite Singles to get one, I always seem to never be able to find them. Which is why I gave up on my Maiden object at one point. Oh, I forgot it. 10k vanguards, a little bit. Forgot they existed. Wow. I see something shiny. It's a triple rare, Tempest Bolt. I think one of the lower end triple rares in the set. Since obviously this is an older set, a lot of the stuff is relatively cheaper, considering it's a large set as well, so you can possibly get screwed over. And another double rare, and it's a Murakumo. And it's the break for Murakumo. Oh, it's interesting. Couldn't even remember Murakumo had a break ride. It's been so long since I've seen this set, if I'm honest. I think I had a box a while back, and that was about £20. And that wasn't too bad. I got a Minerva in that box, which I unfortunately got rid of. And now I want to rebuild Genesis. And Regalia gets a keyword coming up. So, yeah, this is always a good comment to get. Oh, she's actually a really good little starter. When it boosts a great, it's gotta be a great three, but now you get a free soul charge. That was the left side of the box, so digging the right. We have two doubles and two triples left. So let's see what we can get. Azel from this is, I think, the money card, if you don't count the SP. Oh, 
Uh, this is the only perfect card in the set, so that's pretty cool. It's always good to get a perfect card in a box. I think you can never go wrong with them because someone's always going to need a perfect card for a clan. Or you might need one, so. Got stuff going everywhere now. I'm literally doing this straight after the Mystical Magus box, so I've got rubbish just flying around everywhere. It's quite hilarious. I think the doubles in this I don't really want too much. Because I can't think of what I would want other than, like I said, maybe Neonactor. So. I do think it's, this was a pretty set as well. This was actually quite nice artwork. Okay. Getting a few dub packs, I think. No, so. Everything might be nearer the bottom. Yeah, it looks like things are going to be nearer the bottom. Ah, this brings back memories. Sanctuary of Light. Right chain, so I didn't realise we got the zero and the two back to back. There, I think that's still a good right chain to use. Especially with the limp break remover. There we go again, better opening packs again. I love the sheep. Last of all, Murakumo Quintet. So, last double's a meh, but I'll take it regardless because the box was cheap. So, still looking for two doubles, uh, two triples rather. Every time I see this card, I go, I want more Battle Maidens, which can be a more liable deck. So, I know with Revelation out now, there are more Battle Maidens coming out. So, I'd like to see more. But whether they'll make them into an archetype is another question. One, two, three, four, five packs left. And we got Minerva. Sweet. I'm happy for that. So I'll be keeping that until uh, we know more about more regalia stuff. Uh... As of tomorrow, I'm doing the sneak peek for BT08, GB208. So I look forward to doing that. And there's regalia in that, which I really like the look of. So if I can't make the Genesis deck I do want, I'll probably just make regalia. I wish you could mix it more with Revelation though, so. Yeah. So two packs, one's gotta have a triple, and I forgot this was in this. It's terrible. <clears throat> I don't like this triple row. Like I prefer the Tempest Ball over this, but the Minerva makes up the money for the box. So I'm happy about the Minerva. That's twice I've had a box and twice I've had a Minerva. I can be considered stacky with my boxes. And that's the Dauntless support. So overall, this wasn't a terrible box. I wouldn't call it great, other than the Minerva. But I wouldn't call it terrible either. I think it's some good trade bait. Murakuma stuff I can keep for the collection building up. The Magus box was better, so you can go and have a look at the Magus box. It was really good. Uh, anyway guys, thank you for joining me for this box opening. And thank you for looking at the cards with me as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!